We've already had our first large earthquake of 2024, a magnitude 7.5 that struck off the west coast of Honshu, Japan, near the Noto Peninsula. Now, if you look at this map of recorded earthquakes near Japan, you'll notice that the vast majority of earthquakes occur along the east coast of Japan's islands. So why did this large quake occur along the west coast? Well, Japan lies in a very complex tectonic setting with four primary plates. The Pacific Plate, the Philippine Sea Plate, the Okhotsk Plate, and the Eurasian Plate. The Pacific Plate subducts beneath the Okhotsk Plate, and the Philippine Sea Plate subducts beneath the Eurasian Plate. So the whole east coast of Japan is a subduction zone, which is why there are so many earthquakes there. Now there's also a complex structure that accommodates slow east-west convergence between the Okhotsk and the Eurasian Plates. Earthquakes along the west coast are thus less common, but not unexpected. And they tend to be shallower, like this quake was, meaning lots of shaking will be felt at the surface. 